I pay a lot of money, sell property. It's not the job that was introduced to me. When I got to the place 8th of May 2023, another thing was introduced to me, which is called QNET. And I told him that, ah, ah, if this is what you call me for, after selling my property to everything, I was not interested. So I was waiting to collect my money before the police came to arrest us in third of June. And I was brought to go to no. After investigation, no complaint, nothing, nothing, nobody found anything against me. I did not do anything, I did not scam anybody, no evidence, nothing. Before I was charged to court, I got to prison. So I was in the prison now. This is going to see this is six months in prison. Now for them to judge me. I attend court last November. I attend court last November 2nd. The chief judge told me that uh, my case is one year. That I should come back on December 7th for more hearing. I'm getting right to court December 7th. He was not jailed me several years for doing nothing. That's the reason why I cried to Nigeria to come to my rescue. On this race, my wife fell sick and finally died October 31st. My matrimonial wife with two children died October 31st, 2023 on this race. And December, November 2nd, when I attend court, I explained everything to, to him. My wife died uh, October 31st and I attend court uh, November, November 2nd, two days after, which I explained to, to, to them. Still, they still jail me seven they still jail me seven years for doing nothing. No complaint, no evidence, no nothing against me. So please, I plead to Nigeria to come to my rescue. To come to my rescue. To come to my rescue. You mentioned all Nigerians Please, I, I, please, I plead to all Nigerians, all Nigerians to come to my rescue. I cannot lose my property, lost my wife. I still come and serve jail for several years for doing nothing. And I was not the only one. Many Nigerians are suffering in this prison. Many Nigerians are suffering in this prison. They are just jailing them for doing nothing. Please, Nigeria should come to our rescue. I call on Nigeria, our president, all the ministers, all the commissioners, please come to our rescue. We are dying in this country. All Nigerians are dying. Nigerians are dying in this country. God bless Nigeria. God bless our president. Thank you. This is Bernard Bosley. All these people you are seeing here. All of them are Nigerians. Eighty percent of us who are innocent. We share this video. We need our government intervention. Good morning, all the home minister. Good morning, Ushomone, my daddy. I'm privy for all of you for my rescue and the rest of Nigeria in Benin. Because they called me to Benin. See, there is work. I am a driver in Lagos. I have my own motor. The Kokurukbe, I used to drive. I saw the bus as they explained the business, as they explained the 
work to me. I said, okay, it's good. I came to Benena, I discovered that not the work that they explained to me, I saw. They are not, they are not telling me QNET. I think I don't understand QNET. I don't know what is QNET. I did not even go to school to begin to press for to know what is QNET. Now I ask them to refund my money. Then they say I should wait. On my way waiting now, police just come after some few days. Now they take us to a police station, we make statements, they take us to court. From court now, we begin to go court. I'm not spending six months in, in prison here, six months. I'm not spending six months in prison here. After court, after seven months, the large judgment now they tell me that I should go for seven years in prison without no evidence, there's nothing to prove, nothing to say this is what I did. This is why I'm asking for the whole Nigeria, for our president, for our ministers, for our ministers, for the all the whole Emirate people in Nigeria, please come to our rescue, not only me. And with many Nigerians are here, please come to our rescue. Thank you so very much. Thank you, the whole Nigeria. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Nigeria. Good, I, I greet uh, our president, the ministers, all the honorables. I greet everybody. My name is Father Ben James from Ekiti State. Presently, I'm in a Port Novo prison. I just want to explain myself in brief what brought me here. Yes. Based in Lagos, I'm from Equity State, but I'm based in Lagos, work in the security company. A colleague of mine that worked under me for several years was the one that I called me to Benin that there is a job that I should come and apply, which I did. And to cut the story short on getting the, the job I applied for, which 